Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here with HGLX Films, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get free apps using 25pp. So let's go right ahead and get started. So once we're on the iPad or the iOS device that we're going to use, what we're going to go right ahead and do is go to our Safari browser and download 25pp. Now the link I will have written in the description, it is a mobile link and you will, as Safari will be able to download it. So uh, I'm just going to show you guys the link is z.25pp.com. So let's go ahead and zoom in on that. It's z.25pp.com. So if you guys do not know how to get there, just copy that link on your web browser. Now it's pretty noticeable, it's in Chinese. All you're going to do is just tap on the big blue button and an icon is going to pop up that's going to look something similar to this right over here. And then what uh, you're going to do is you're going to click on this little blue button right over here. But you're going to go to the search icon right over there and type in an app that you wish to download. I'm going to go ahead and download Geekbench 3 because I do not want to pay 99 cents for it. I'm just going to use it for demonstrational purposes for it. So once we go ahead and download Geekbench 3, there we go. Uh, Geekbench 3, what you're going to do is you're going to tap on it and on the bottom you're going to see a blue one that says download. So once you go ahead and download it, it's going to take a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this process and come back to you. So once it's getting towards the end of the download, you're going to see it's going to ask you to install your app. So you're going to click on install. And then Geekbench 3 should begin installing just like you would if you were to download it off of the iTunes App Store. So now uh, what you're going to do is that when you launch Geekbench 3, you're going to come to an error that's going to ask you to enter your Apple ID. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go into your computer and download a program 25pp and I'll show you guys now. So once we're on the computer, what you're going to do ahead is you're going to go right ahead and download an app off of, off of Safari. I'm on a Mac, so I have to go to uh, the Mac and I'm going to type in link mega.co.nz and this is PP Helper 25pp. It's about 4 megabytes, so it's not that big and download off of Mega. But if you're on Windows, you actually does have a website for it. So you're going to go back to your internet browser and you're going to go ahead and type in 25pp, click on search, you're going to go to the first link right over there and they do have a Mac version just it's a beta and is only available for developers so that's why I got you guys a version. If you're on Windows just click on that blue button and there you go. As you see there's the Mac developer. So once you download this what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and once you install the program you're going to go to PP Helper, click on open and what you're going to do is you're going to plug in your iPad Air. In this case, it's the iPad Air running iOS 7.0.4. So this does work on Apple's newest device. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go right to the Apple logo right over there. Click on this little button right over here. Oops, sorry, that's not what I wanted. Uh, you're going to click on that button right here. So once you're going to open it, go to the Apple right over there. And you're going to click on this big uh, bluish button and then it's going to do some uh, process behind the back you won't be able to see what's going to happen but in a few seconds the button should light up back to blue so if you guys notice on the left there it is it lit it back up to blue and you get a little notification telling you it's ready and once you're going to go ahead and do now is you're going to go right ahead and just uh, go to your iPad I'm going to go back to the iPad and show you guys what it looks like when it's uh, ready so what you're going to do is, once you're back on the iPad, you guys are going to notice, uh, I'm, I took off my tripod for a sec just to show you guys, but Geekbench 3, there it is. When you guys open it, it does open up, and you will be able to see some stuff there. As you see, iPad Air, iOS 7.0.4, Apple A7, a 1.40 gigahertz, and 976 megabytes of memory. So there it is. Also, I downloaded Minecraft, so that also works on here. As you see right there. So, um... All the apps do work, you just have to do this every single time you download an app or download a whole bunch of apps, then just do this once and it should be ready to download. There it is, PP25, uh, the app that you used to download it. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this, guys. Comment, subscribe for more videos. Bye, guys. See you in the next one.